Hello. Today we're going to unbox and set up your Amino Amigo TV box. First we'll discuss items that come in the box. It's going to start with your unit itself. It'll have a remote. And then there'll be two important cables. One is going to be an HDMI cable. This we'll, we'll use to connect your TV to your device. And of course another important component is going to be your power cable. Now let's go through setting up your device. On the back of your device, the first port is going to be your power supply or power port right there. The next one is going to be HDMI. This is going to be the port that will connect your device to your actual TV. The third little port here is an optional one. As long as you have an HDMI cable, this is unnecessary. This will only be used on older TVs where you have to use an analog cable. That analog cable is not included in your box and would be need to purchase and found separately. The last port is a network connection port. This is also not necessary as the Amino Amigo is Wi-Fi capable in both dual bands. However, if you find you have connection problems, you can hardwire this device with a CAT5 or CAT6 cable and then run it hardline to your router. A technician can also help, so if you do have problems, you can always contact your service provider. Next step, we'll go through setting up your device with your TV. First, you're going to have a power. Plug in the power supply with the power port on the back of your device. And then plug the other end into a power source or a wall outlet. In my case today, I have a power strip located behind my TV. Next is your HDMI cable. Again, we'll plug that into the port on the back of the Amino device and then plug it into the back of our TV. Most TVs have multiple HDMI ports, so at this point in time, it is helpful to kind of watch which port you put it in, whether it's HDMI 1, 2, 3. You'll find that helpful later when you're trying to find which source you're on. Once the device is plugged in, it'll go through its normal boot up process and eventually end you here at this screen. If you don't see this screen or it says no signal, your most likely culprit is you're on the wrong input. As I mentioned earlier in the installation process, it's kind of important to know which HDMI port you, you connected to. If you're struggling at this point, grab your TV remote and look for the input or source button until you find this screen. The first step is going to be pairing your remote. The screen gives you step-by-step -step instructions, but I will also walk you through it. You need to press and hold two buttons. The app button, which is located here, You'll also need to hold the OK button, which is right in the middle. And they say to hold those for roughly five seconds. You press and hold both of those for five seconds, and then release. You'll notice on the bottom, it'll say connecting, and then successfully paired. The next step is to select which language. On this screen, if you have an Android smartphone, you can use your Android smartphone to help select and install your Wi-Fi network password and your Google account. If you do not have an Android smartphone, simply choose Skip. The next step is to select your Wi-Fi network and then enter the password accordingly. Once you have entered your password successfully, your device will go through and check for updates. If you already have a Google account, you can use this screen to sign in with your Google account. You could also create a Google account. If you do not have one, simply choose Skip. You will need to go ahead and accept Google's Terms of Service. For best efficiency, we recommend you choose Yes on Google Location. This screen allows you to install additional apps that you may or may not wish to use. You can use this at your own discretion. You will see Google has selected some of those popular apps for you. We're simply going to hit Continue. These next screens will show you some of the cool features with your Amino Amigo box. You can read through them or simply scroll over or the right arrow on your remote. This screen will show you where to get apps, the Google Play Store, and this is the icon it would look like. This screen shows you and tells you about the Google Assistant, which you can set up once you've gone through the process. This screen is simply telling you that your Amino Amigo box also has a built-in Google Chromecast. That product allows you to cast stuff from your cell phone directly to your TV. In this case, the example they're speaking of is music or photos. To begin your remote setup, Simply click Begin. To test to see if your remote is synced, they recommend you do volume up and volume down. 
as long as you see your TV responding, you can simply choose It Works. The Next Tech TV Now app should now auto load. At this point, you need to put in your username and password, which should have been given to you when you originally signed up for service with the representative. The username is going to be an email address, and the password is going to be something that you chose at sign up. Now that you've successfully entered your username and password, you're ready to enjoy your TV service. If you continue to have problems, please reach out to our Next Tech Help Desk. We hope you enjoy your TV service.